At this point, Bullseye calculates a random target value for the player to aim for. The player can then move the slider as close as they can and tap the Hit Me button. That will run the Hit Me button's action, and at that point we know the target's value, and we also know the value of the slider. So all that's left is we just have to calculate the score. But first, where should we put the code to calculate the score? Whenever you find yourself thinking something like, at this point in the app, we have to do such and such, then it makes sense to create a new method for that. The method will nicely capture that functionality in a self-contained unit all on its own. Now, you've called methods on Bullseye before, such as the alert method on the button, but you haven't written your own methods yet. Let's take a look at how to do this. Imagine you want to add a method that has no input, in other words, no parameters, but it does have an output, in other words, a return value. To do this, you'd simply add a block of code that looks like this before the final curly brace of your class. Basically, you use the keyword func, and then you give your method a name. Then you enter a open and close parentheses, which means it has no input or no parameters. Then you put a dash and a greater than sign, which looks kind of like an arrow to me. Then you indicate the type of object that you will return as the output of your method, like int, double, or bool. Inside the curly braces, you put all of your code. When you're ready to return the output value, you enter the keyword return, and then the value you want to return, like 999, 9.14, or true. Let's try it out. All right, so let's create our first method. Now, where you place the method doesn't really matter. I could place it before these properties, I could place it before the body, or I could place it after the body, but it just depends on how you'd like things organized. A general best practice is to put all of your properties variables up top, and I just like to have the body being the first thing I see inside here as a personal choice. Some people may disagree. So I wanna put it after the body, and I wanna put it at the right spot too. So how do we know where the proper place to put this method is so it's part of the content view? It's hard to do the curly brace trick I showed you earlier because we're so far down this file. Well, let me show you another trick you can do. First of all, you can count the spaces. We happen to know that it's two spaces um, inside this content view is the proper place. But another even easier way is if I hit enter here. Inside here, it tells you where you are and we're currently inside the body property of contentview.swift. But if I hit a new line here, it tells us we're actually just part of content view itself. So that's kind of another shortcut to easily see where you are if you lose track. So let's create a new method. So the first thing we use, do is we type the keyword func, and now we give the name of the method. We're going to call it points for current round. Next, you put parentheses, and inside here you put any input, also called parameters, that this function takes. We're not going to take any input, so we're going to leave that empty. And then we use what looks to me like an arrow, and then we put what we're going to return, and we're going to return an integer. And you put an open and a curly brace, and inside here you put every line of code you want this method to execute one line after another. So here it's gonna be very simple. We're just gonna return a placeholder value of 999. We will be working more with this method later. So now that we have this placeholder method to use, we're gonna go back to our, we're printing out our alert. So we're gonna say two things. So we're gonna say the sliders value is, and then we're gonna put slash n, which means new line. And next we're gonna add another string. I could keep typing more here, but to make it a little bit easier to read, I'm gonna put a plus. I'm gonna put the next message on another line. So let's just put some spacing here. The next message is you scored, and we want a placeholder value here, which we'll get to in a second, points this round. So plus is a way that you can combine two strings together. All right, so we need to fill in something here for this placeholder, and we're going to call that method we just wrote. And you can call a method by saying self dot, because this is a method that's a part of the current class, and then we'll say, which is self, and then we'll do points for current round. And let's build and run to try this out. And I'm just going to click a random value. And it says you scored 999 points this round, which is great, because it proves that it's called our brand new method. 